Hello, welcome once again to Morgate Andrology. And in today's video, I want to talk about Peroni's Disease Surgery NHS. Is it possible to get Peroni's Disease Surgery on the NHS, on the National Health Service? Well, the short answer to the question is yes, you can. Peroni's Disease Surgery is certainly available on the National Health Service. Um, now, if you have Peroni's Disease, then uh, you will probably know this causes a bend in the penis. This bend can be relatively slight or it can be very bad to the extent that the curve is so bad that you simply cannot, um, uh, you cannot have sexual intercourse at all. It simply doesn't work because the curvature is, is too severe. Now, the, the disease itself uh, goes through what's called an acute phase and a chronic phase. The acute phase comes first, and this is where you will notice uh, some pain on erection uh, following some trauma to your penis. Now, in many cases, we see at Morgate Andrology, guys cannot, um, they cannot remember any incident uh, that could have caused this trauma to their penis. It's, probably was a sexual encounter where the penis is suddenly bent very suddenly. Uh, but many guys can't remember. A few can. They, they can remember an incident uh, when the penis was suddenly bent. Maybe they heard a popping or a cracking. But in most cases, guys can't. But whatever, it's caused by this trauma to your penis. Now, when you go through the acute phase, you will notice that, um, that on erection, you're, you, you, you will have some pain and some discomfort. And uh, this is followed by this bending of the penis, which you will only see when the penis is erect. When the penis is flaccid, you won't, uh, you won't see it at all. But on, on, on erection, uh, when, the, when this, uh, you know, the, the penis is, is stretched on erection, you will see this curvature. Now, when, the, when you first go to the NHS, they may give you some medication, some erectile dysfunction medication, such as Tadenafil, and uh, they may give you a pump, and they may want to see you and monitor you during this acute phase. Um, and then eventually, after about a year, when things have settled down, uh, you know, maybe you don't have the pain now so much, if at all, and this curvature has not particularly got much worse in about the last three months before, they will consider you for surgery. Now, the surgery, surgery that's offered on the NHS is something called um, the Nesbitt procedure, the Nesbitt procedure, and this procedure will straighten your penis. The downside of the Nesbitt is that it will leave your penis shorter than it is now typically by about one to one and a half inches. And this really is the, the downside of uh, the downside of the Nesbitt procedure. You know, most guys uh, 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 don't like the idea of their penis being much shorter than it was before, even if straighter. Uh, the idea of losing one to one and a half inches off their erect length <clears throat> isn't very attractive, but nonetheless, uh, this procedure's there and it is available and it will straighten it. Now, if you can imagine this curvature of your penis, you can see that there is a longer side and there is a shorter side. This is the shorter side, this is the longer side. And the Nesbitt procedure um, operates, or they, they will operate on the longer side of your penis. Obviously, when the penis is straightened, the two sides have to be the same. So, with the Nesbitt, they operate on the longer side of, their, of your penis. And at the end of the surgery, it will be the same length as the current shorter side. So, if you look at the curvature of your penis now, if you, if you have Peroni's disease, if you look at the shorter side, this is how your penis will be after the surgery, because they operate on the longer side. So, um, 
this will straighten your penis. The Nesbit will straighten your penis, but it will leave it shorter. Now, uh, at Morgate Andrology, we offer something other than the Nesbit. We don't, we don't provide the Nesbit procedure. We carry out a procedure called plaque incision and grafting. Plaque incision and grafting. And this is a this is a length preserving procedure, a length preserving procedure. So instead of operating on the longer side of your penis, we operate on the shorter side. Incisions are made within the plaque and the penis is straightened. But when this straightening has uh, occurred when when the penis has been opened like this you have a hole or a, pa a gap here on this shorter side so obviously uh, we can't leave it like that something has to be done and in that hole in that patch uh, in that um, hole we put a patch or a graft that acts as a scaffold for new collagen and new tissue to grow within this hole and this patch uh, does exactly that and this is a length preserving procedure now what you must remember is whatever is done to your penis now if you have Peyronie's disease it's never going to be like it was before you can't regain that extra length with any Peyronie's disease surgery but the plaque incision and grafting procedure is a length preserving procedure. So instead of shortening your penis by operating on the longer side, which the Nesbit does, we operate on the shorter side of your penis to protect the longer side length. So this is called plaque incision and grafting. And at Morgate, we do a number of these procedures. It's performed by uh, one of our urology specialists and it's a day case procedure. You can come in, get the procedure done, which takes about one and a half hours under general anaesthetic and you can go home afterwards. Uh, now, if you have erectile dysfunction alongside your Peyronie's disease, then that will still need to be treated when you've had um, plaque incision and grafting. So we, we focus on the, the straightening, of, straightening of your penis whilst preserving its length. And then we work on the erectile dysfunction to make sure that your erections are back on track. So there you go. There are two options for treating your Peyronie's disease. Um, and uh, the NHS certainly have a procedure uh, for treating Peyronie's disease and it's called the Nesbit procedure, the Nesbit procedure. Morgate Andrology, we carry out a very different procedure called plaque incision and grafting. If you'd like to find out more about um, Peyronie's disease surgery options, then please take a look at our website at www.morgateandrology.co.uk or get in touch with us if you'd like a consultation with one of our urologists. That's all from me today. I look forward to seeing you back here at Moorgate very soon. Until then, bye for now.